For this vlog, we are returning to our recent trip to Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. We already did a video with our friends CJ and Melissa about their first time at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. But several years ago, we learned a terrible secret about our friend Melissa. She had never been to our happy place, Walt Disney World, so we made a pact to fix that. In 2017, CJ and Melissa accompanied us on a brief trip to Orlando where we let her take her pick of which park to visit, and she chose Animal Kingdom. Then, for this follow-up trip in late 2020, we visited all three other Disney World parks. Both trips also included a day at Universal Studios because Melissa is a huge Harry Potter fan. So today, we are going to talk to Melissa about her experience visiting Disney World for the very first time as an adult. Let's talk about the original Disney World park, Magic Kingdom. What was your reaction to your first visit to Magic Kingdom? It was just such an awe moment for me because you know, Disney is something I watched as a child. You know, growing up, you always see the castle on TV. And then I was there and it was like, wow, this is freaking amazing. This is beautiful. You know, and you go closer and closer. So to, to me, immediately that struck me and just hit my heart. It was just actually being able to see this beautiful castle. That was just an awe moment for me. What was your favorite ride at Magic Kingdom? So my favorite ride was actually Space Mountain. Initially, when I got on Space Mountain and afterwards, I was like, this is really intense. You know, it assaulted all of my senses, hearing, sight, because of all the strobe lights, you know, the colors, and then it's going really, really fast through a tube. It's a dark ride, so, and through a tube. I'm claustrophobic, so we're going through a tube. The fact that I was able to accomplish that and like get through the ride after all of that, to me still, Space Mountain was just amazing, just in terms of how it was done, because it was just very unique going through space. So the line we waited in the longest on our day at Magic Kingdom was actually, it's a small world, which is not something you asked for, but we wanted you to experience this classic Disney attraction. What did you think after waiting an hour to ride a boat with all the children of the world? A small world, surprisingly, was very well done. The reason why is just the theme and the actual meaning of the ride itself. All the different cultures, Africa, Asia, you know, just everything, everything coming together and the whole theme of itself, it's a small world because we're all connected together. It was just very empowering to me and I just, I love the unity aspect of it. We also would have accepted, why did you make me listen to that song for 25 minutes? Um, the song was very repetitive. The fact that we got stuck on the ride toward the end and we sat there for 15 minutes, at least 15 minutes, and the song is just repeating over and over. You could torture someone with the song because we were just, they had to clean the rice because of COVID. So I understand that they had to go through that and the reason that's why we were sitting. Other than that, I, I love the ride. Jack would probably disagree with me, but my favorite thing about Magic Kingdom is the dark rides. All Disney parks have some, but this park has a lot of them. So what did you think of the dark rides? I wouldn't say I'm a fan of dark rides. However, I do appreciate them. Um, I think that I would appreciate them more if, if I was younger. Well, that is a pretty common reaction from many adults, many of whom are dead inside, but I will give you a chance to redeem your answer. I know y'all plan to one day have children. Do you look forward to taking them on these rides one day? Yes, I am super excited about that because Magic Kingdom is absolutely 100% geared to children. So I can't wait for that, to take them on the dark rides so they can experience them in the story aspect of the dark rides, but also the fact that they're not super intense. So I think that, you know, it's nice little introduction in terms of riding and things like that. So. Okay, I'll allow it. Okay, the next park we went to was Epcot. So what is your review of Epcot? So Epcot is my favorite Disney park. I, I loved Epcot. I love the cultures. There's so much that I could say in just in terms of how immersive the culture, it was literally like we were going from country to country and how authentic the food was. We had lunch at a French cafe, I believe. It was just amazing. It was so authentic. It had a quiche and macaroons and you could tell like literally these are things that people eat in France. And your favorite World Showcase Pavilion? 
Japan was my favorite part. Oh my gosh. Like I I went crazy when I walked in Japan. That was the dragons, the architecture, the, the temples that were there. And then you walk in and you walk into the gift store and you see it's like you're walking into a Japanese gift store and you see anime and I'm like, oh my gosh, I had a meltdown because it was just so cool. There is only one ride in all of Epcot that neither Jack nor I have ever been on, and that is Mission Space. This ride has health warnings all over the front entrance saying, basically, if you ride this, you could die. But you walked right past those warnings and onto the ride. So what is your review of this one attraction at Epcot that we have never experienced? Mission Space was amazing to me personally it's not as intense as everyone's making it out to be if you can do a roller coaster you can do this ride like it's not super intense in that respect it was amazing it felt like you were literally plunging through space through orbit leaving the atmosphere you slingshot around the moon and then you land on mars any other attraction you liked at Epcot? Oh, so Frozen was awesome. Oh my gosh, Frozen was so cool. I love Frozen. I love the movie Frozen, but the ride was so cool. When you see Elsa and she's like, let it go. I was like, this is awesome. Just think of how much more you would have appreciated it if you were younger though. Okay. Next, we went to Disney's Hollywood Studios. We already did a whole reaction video of what you thought of Galaxy's Edge, and we'll link that below in the description. But what did you think of Toy Story Land? I love Toy Story Land because I loved Toy Story as a child, and it was like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. Ah, Slinky Dog was cool too. I like Slinky Dog just because you go up and you're down, you're up and you're down. There weren't any major drops. It was like a great introduction to roller coasters for children. We also rode the newest ride in the park, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. What did you think of that? That was really cool too, but I was not expecting that at all. I thought that this was a dark ride. We're on a track and we're going and then all of a sudden, there's no track. Where's the track? How is this maneuvering around in this? It kind of freaked me out. And I'm like, no, this is the engineers of Disney know what they're doing. So I'm going to enjoy the ride. It has been a long three years since we all visited Animal Kingdom together. What do you remember about that first visit to Animal Kingdom? Yeah, so Animal Kingdom was really cool as well. If you love animals, like Animal Kingdom would just like melt your heart just being able to see and actually to go on a safari the fact that you are literally in a jeep and there's only like like maybe i don't know how far the ditch is in the ground but it's not you know too deep separating you from a lion and the lion's out in the distance and it's just really cool and incredible to see and to actually be in nature and to see animals you know up close and personal mount everest i believe that's the name of the ride was the first roller coaster I had gotten on Expedition Everest. Thank you. Was the first roller coaster I had gotten on, you know, since I was like a teenager. So I had no idea what to expect when I got on it. So I get on it, you go up, you go up, you know, shoot you up. And then all of a sudden there's no track. Like it looked like, you know, what is that thing called? The Yeti. The Yeti. It looked like the Yeti. Well, they did. The Yeti literally tore up the tracks to the roller coaster and like you just see broken tracks and it's like wait how are we supposed to continue this ride and we're sitting at the top where the broken tracks are for quite a while and then you shoot back down okay you said epcot was your favorite walt disney world park of the four so give us your ranking epcot is number one what are numbers two three and coming in last place four so my second disney park is hollywood studios reason being is because of star wars land um that hands down makes uh Dis hollywood studios number two on my list um number three would be magic kingdom why space mountain Number four is Animal Kingdom. I liked Animal Kingdom, but the part that I really was not liking is the fact that you're outside and it's kind of hot. <laughs> it's like there's, there isn't a lot of shade. I, I love looking at the animals. I love, you know, the attractions and things like that, but man, Florida's hot, so. Last question. 
I mentioned in the opening that on both of our trips with you and CJ, we went to Universal in part because you are a huge Harry Potter fan. So let's say you are planning a quick trip to Orlando for a couple days. You only have time and money for one. Would you choose to spend a couple days at the Disney parks or at the Universal Orlando parks? Yeah, I would go to Universal hands down. Um, why? You have Spider-Man, which is like so cool. Like, and you got Transformers. And then you also have the Mummy, which is also really intense, but really cool too. You have water rides as well. Popeye is a great ride. Just be prepared to get wet. Universal is absolutely the best because of Harry Potter. They took something and they just created it and made it real. Harry Potter is real to me. Well, I feel like our viewers are really vibing with you right up until that last question, but you totally lost our audience there. The accepted YouTube answer is, Universal is really nice, but we don't like to leave the Disney bubble. Seriously though, we've had a lot of fun traveling through Orlando with y'all, and here's to many safe travels ahead. And then all of a sudden it gets dark. There's spiders that come down from the ceiling and there's bug spray and they're talking about death and stuff. I'm like, what is this? I got really sad for bugs and a little terrified.